it's Carolyn Zook here with Zook Stitch, and today is January 1st, 2022. Welcome to my channel about craft stitch. Happy, happy new year to all of you. And this today marks my three-year anniversary of being on Floss Tube. So I'm super excited to be here. I really missed you the past couple weeks when I didn't film, um, but here we are. We are getting back into the groove right from the get-go on January 1st. So thank you all for being with me, those of you who have been with me from the beginning for all three years, or if this is your first video, I so appreciate you. It's been such such fun getting to know you um, as friends and stitchers and uh, doing these videos has, has been so much fun. Um, I'm excited to kind of fill you in on what's been going on over the past couple of weeks. A lot has happened, I feel like. Not a lot of stitching, but a lot of other things have happened. All good things. Um, I just got back from dropping my parents off at the airport. They were here for a week. They came in on Christmas Day and they left today on New Year's Day. We had a wonderful, wonderful time. You will see curtains. That's new. Um, my dad hung up curtains in all of the um, all of the windows in the house almost. So that's really wonderful. And it really makes a big, it changes the feel of, of the home. It feels a little more permanent, a little more cozy. Uh, so I'm thrilled about that. He hung up fans. He did a lot of work around the house. Um, and for that, I'm very grateful. It was wonderful. Spending Christmas with my folks. It's been a long time since we've actually spent Christmas Day together. Um, yeah, we had a lot, a lot of of fun. Um, I'm trying to think what else. I mean, he did all sorts of projects around the house. We did have some weather. It was pretty cold. It's pretty cold out today for us anyway. Um, it's still in the 20s. It's about 11.30 in the morning, and it's still in the 20s. It's almost in the 30s, but not quite there yet. So for us, that's very, very cold. Um, we did have snow. I know Portland is kind of strange because it really can be neighborhood by neighborhood and there's a lot of different elevations around. So where I was, we probably got between mm, four and five inches of snow right after Christmas. Um, it's melted now. The roads aren't too bad out there, um, but we were kind of bracing for, for the worst and there were some, some reports that said we could get up to a foot of snow. Um, we did not. I don't mind the snow as long as we don't have to go out in it. Um, so that is the very brief version update of time with mom and dad. It was wonderful. We played, um, a dice game. It's called Farkle. I don't know if you've heard of it. If you haven't, it's a really fun dice game. Um, it's easy to learn. It's fun. Kids can play it. Um, and we just have a lot of fun playing that game together as a family. So we had a lot of fun with that. The other big news from the past couple weeks is on Wednesday of this pe past week, I met Jan Hicks of Jan Hicks Creates. I will insert a picture here for you. If you're not on social media, you maybe haven't seen this picture. Jan uh, was visiting a son of hers in Seattle, and her and Mike, her husband, drove down to Portland uh, just for the day. Um, they stayed one night only. And... Uh, I met her over at Acorns and Threads, my LMS, and it was wonderful to finally meet, you know, again, like I said at the start of this video, you know, you just, you become friends with these, uh, with these stitchers uh, through FlossTube and social media and all that, but I haven't ever actually met Jan in person, and it was so wonderful to finally get to hug her and meet her and um, um, talk with her. Uh, so we spent the afternoon shopping, which I'll show you my haul here in a little bit. Uh, shopping together and visiting together and it was such a wonderful wonderful time so I'll be sure to put that um, well you have seen that video by now it's just another reminder to myself to make sure that I include that video that was so much fun and she's as awesome and sweet and funny as you would imagine her to be in real life so that was uh, super fun as well um, I want to go over a few 2021 stats with you um, so I think in my last video, I said I was at 16 new starts and 16 finishes. I ended the year with 17 new starts and 16 finishes. So one more new start than finish, but that's okay. Um, my total stitching time for the year of 2021 <laughs> was 1,057.4 hours. 
And, and that translates, if I were to stitch nonstop for 24 hours a day, nonstop, I will have stitched for 44 straight days in 2021. So that's how that translates into 44 straight days. Um, I am starting 2022 with 38 total whips. Uh, so and that includes the new start that I've have since I last, um, last spoke with you, which I'll show you here in just a minute. My month with my largest amount of stitching time, I guess I'll put it, was the month of May. I had 123 hours, and that was my highest month. May, I did a, um, that was also my highest month of number of finishes. I had six finishes that month because for mania, I decided to do a, a finish, finish mania, so to speak. I had a lot of ornaments from the previous year's Jolly July that I just wanted to finish up. And I did finish several of them. I think I finished five or six of them. Uh, and so I got 123 hours total of stitching. My lowest month of stitching was in July, um, which was the month that I was traveling quite a bit. And then my folks, I was traveling for about two weeks and then my folks were here for a week. And I only got 28 hours of stitching total um, during the month of July. That was closely the second lowest month was June, which is the month I moved. Um, so it's just kind of fun to look over that over the year and just see, um, you know, kind of the most stitching and why and the least stitching and why. And, um, you know, I mean, there was all good reasons why I didn't get much stitching in, thankfully, and I'm very grateful that they were all positive reasons. Um, but it's just kind of fun to, to look at the year as a recap. Um, I did my planning videos. I'm still trying to catch up on comments from the past few videos. So I am still working on that. And a little update on the giveaways from October. I'm very embarrassed. Um, I'm going to do them. I have not sent any out. So if you are waiting for a giveaway from our um, 100th episode, I still have not sent it out. Um, but I'm hoping that things will calm down here. And I will uh, definitely make that a priority. And I appreciate your patience. And I'm so sorry. It's taken me so long to get these sent out. Uh, to you. Um, okay, I think that's all the updates I have for now. So let's get into a little bit of stitching and a whole lot of haul and some plans. So I have a new start. I started Cardinal Cottage, which is a haid because I was really wanting to start this. This is artwork by Donna Gelsinger. This is what it will look like. I've had this in my stash. This is one of the first haids I bought a few years ago, I think. Uh, and I just decided it's so darling. I love it so much, so I want to start it. I have found that I think my happy point for Hades, for stitching on Hades, is uh, 18 count Ada, 2 over 1, 2 threads over 1. Here's my little tiny start. This is maybe 2 hours worth of stitching. That's all I have. Not much. I only stitched on it one evening, but I wanted to get it started. I haven't, you can see all the fabric here. I haven't even cut down the fabric to the right size. It is going to be a huge piece. It is my largest whip that I have now. Um, the Farewell to Anger and the Balmy Spring Day, I'm going to be restarting both of those. I'm not sure when, maybe this year, um, but I'm going to be restarting both of those um, at some point on 18 count Ada. I had originally started them on 25 count to do over one, and I just don't enjoy it. 18 count is great. I really enjoy it. Uh, so that's kind of for me for Hades. That's my sweet spot. I'll use the 25 count fabric for other projects that aren't quite as, as big um, that I can do in that. So that was my really brief new start, uh, Cardinal Cottage. And then I did end up finishing Christmas at Hawk Run Hollow block one. So here, this is by Carriage House Samplings. And if you remember block one, I had it almost finished and then I had to rip it all out. I chose to rip it all out because I had stitched it on the going the wrong orientation on the fabric. So I ripped it all out and started over. So I will show you what I did on this. And I am stitching this on 32 count vanilla latte by Be Stitch Me. And here's the uh, the block completely done now. Now this block took me a total of 50 hours. That includes nine hours of frogging. Uh, so yeah, it took me nine hours to frog it, but I'm really, really happy with it. Block one is done. My goal for 2021 was to finish blocks one and two. Didn't do that, but I'm happy with the orientation now. Um, you will see 
it's going the right direction and I'm so happy. Uh, so the goal for uh, this piece for this year will be blocks two and three. So we'll kind of be on the odd number blocks for a little bit, which is okay. Um, so that's, that's all I stitched on. Um, you know, I stitched the week leading up to my folks being here. Like I said, I didn't stitch at all when my folks were here. Um, we were just, you know, we were playing, like I said, the dice game in the evenings or visiting. Uh, so there just wasn't a lot of time to stitch and we were quite tired because we had pretty active days. All right. So that's all the stitching I have. This is going to be like the shortest 30 year anniversary video ever. Um, but I do have a lot of haul to share with you. Simon is here as well. Uh, so if you see a little cat head coming, coming out, you'll see him. There he is. He's been a little confused about all the commotion going on here while grandma and grandpa were here. All right, but let's get into haul because I have a lot. First up, I have this box. This is from Be Stitch Me. Isn't that pretty? I think it's such a pretty box. This is from Be Stitch Me. I ordered this back in mid-August. This is a winter solstice mystery box. This is fabric and silk. Um, there are different variations of this box. Um, and it's a winter solstice box. So I knew when I ordered it that it would not be coming until closer to Christmas. And she was very clear on her website that that was the case. Um, so I did get it, I think, shortly after I filmed my last video. But I'd like to show you what I got in it. So it's a mystery box, so you do get to choose your fabric, um, the amount and the size, but beyond that, you don't really get a choice. But first up are her silks. Now, I have never used her silks, but they are beautiful. This is called Winter Blues. Look at that variegation. And this is 50 yards of this. 50 yards of silk. So Winter Blues. This one is called evergreen so the rest are all 10 yards the winter blues is the only one that was 50. this is hot cocoa look at the variegation in that and her names are just spot on this is princess it looks similar to winter blues but winter blues has more dark so you can see they're similar but um winter blues has more dark in it more dark variation this is called sleet it's like a silvery taupe this is called crumble pretty this one is called chili look at the um c-h-i-l-l-y not like the food but like the weather beautiful rich blues this is called poinsettia look at that gorgeous red oh my gosh that's great it's kind of showing up as orange it's not it's definitely a deep deep red and then this one is called fudge so that was the hand dyed silks that I got. I mean, they are just gorgeous. And of course, silk is wonderful to touch and feel. And then in addition to that, I have five pieces of fabric that I wanna show you. So, for, so I got the 32 count Lugana, the 18 by 27 piece, which I think is a fat quarter, fat half. I don't know, I don't know. It's 18 by 27. This is called Glacier. So you can kind of see, look at that. Isn't that beautiful? I think that will be really pretty. This next one is called Old Man Winter. Look at that. I'm gonna try to use some of these coming up. Like these would be really great for some uh, Mirabilias maybe. This one is called Winter Wonderland. And these, these colors are all box exclusives, I think. It's like a really pretty bright blue, almost periwinkle. Does this say box exclusive? Exclusive. Okay, so not all of them are exclusive. Glacier does not say exclusive on it, so you might be able to get it on her website, which is just bestitchme.com. Old Man Winter says exclusive. Winter Wonderland says box exclusive. All right. I'm with you now here. This is hot cocoa. It does not say exclusive. So this is like a really pretty pinky brown. Very pretty. And then this one is exclusive. It's called Yule Reef. It's like a really pretty, pretty green with some blue undertones in it. Yeah, that's pretty good. You can see the blue. 
in here as well as the green. So this was the Be Stitch Me box. Um, it's amazing and I love her fabric. Like I said, I've never used her threads before. I'm sure they are just as amazing. Um, so I'll just put this here back in the box and the box is super darling as well. And I kind of am prone to want to keep this all together in the box. I mean, the box is super cute instead of just adding it randomly to my stash. So I don't know what I'm going to do with this yet. How I'm going to, you know, denote that this all came in the box together. Because it does coordinate really nicely. And you know I like a good set of things. Okay, so that came in the mail. Um, okay, so the other thing I ordered was Mirabilia came out with a new chart that I wanted. This is called The Snow Maiden by Nora Corbett. I think she's just gorgeous. She would actually look nice on some of that fabric I just got. Um, so I ordered this from Garon along with the bead pack. Look at all those beautiful beads. Oh my gosh. So she's going to go in my stash. Um, next up, I want to wait on that. I got my issues of Just Cross Stitch Magazine. This is the February 2022 issue. And then I got the World of Cross Stitch. And it doesn't say what month it's on. This is um, issue 314. Often they say, will say what uh, well what month it is on the somewhere on the cover, but I don't see that. So this is probably you know like a maybe December 2021 issue. I'm guessing. Anyway, I'll try to do a flip through maybe of these. I know I haven't done a flip through in a while. Um, and I'm happy to do it. It's just I've been a bit, um, it's been a bit busy. So I will try to get back. Um, maybe with these, uh, certainly in the future, we'll try to get back to uh, flip throughs. So I got those. Now, the other thing I got in the mail, um, this year, 2021, I signed up for roguestitching.com's Fabric of the Month Club. Um, and... They work with different designers and um, throughout the year. So you get uh, to try out different designers' fabric, which is wonderful. I love it. I'm continuing on with this uh, Fabric of the Month Club. They also have a Thread of the Month Club, which is the same deal. It's just threads instead of fabrics. I'll link them down below. Uh, it's just roguestitching.com if, you if you're looking for a club to join in 2022. I'm continuing my membership into 2022 because I love it so much. Um, and so if you do all 12 months of the fabrics, you get a bonus, it's called a baker's dozen. You get a bonus fabric for um, at the end of the year, if you stay for 12 months. So I got, um, this is by Atomic Ranch Fabrics. It's called Azul. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful, beautiful colors? And again, I get the 17 by 27 piece, 32 count. I think that's really pretty. And then I believe this is the, this is um, another one by Atomic Ranch Fabrics called Weatherstone. I believe this is also um, the bonus, like the, the bonus, like the Baker's Dozen piece. So this is a great, great neutral. I'll add it to my stash for sure. They sent this lovely, lovely note along with it explaining that they're still waiting on some fabric from Mountain Air. Um, they're shipping it out as the fabric comes in. So, um, you know, we're all dealing with supply line issues and all that. Um, and so, also, in addition, they, um, they sent me... Um, because I had the most referrals. So there's a spot when you sign up, there's a spot where you can say, um, I, where you heard about it. And I guess I was the person who had the most people who say they heard about it for me, which is wonderful. Thank you so much to each of you who, um, who wrote my name down. They said I had the most referrals. So as a thank you, they gave me this beautiful piece. Now it's more of a green. Mm. Sorry about the lighting. It's a green. It's a beautiful, like, kind of almost minty green. It's by Picture This Plus, and, uh, oh, it's called Mint by Picture This Plus, and it's a 32 count. 
Now I have found that 32 count pictures plus is a little bit tight. Uh, something about their dyeing process. So, uh, but this is a beautiful piece of fabric. So thank you so much to those of you who put my name down. I really appreciate that. And they also sent me as a thank you this 2021 special holiday issue of Christmas ornaments, which I'm going to give this away to one of you right here on this video. So if you would like to be entered uh, for to win this magazine, um, say the word holiday, okay, holiday. Just You could say, I want to stitch holiday, or you can work it into a sentence. Holiday is the word I will search for in the next video, and I will choose a winner and mail this out to you. Um, yeah, so 2021 issue of Just Cross Stitch. So as a thank you to you for putting my name down, I will give you this um, ornament magazine, which is great, by the way. I have it already, and I think it's uh, just uh, a great issue. Okay, so that was my rogue fabric stitching and like i said i will leave a link down below um if you're looking for a club and they do have a thread club a thread club i'm doing the mpi soaks through fat quarter shop that thread club for next year this year now i guess 2022 um and um so i that's the only thread club i want to be in right now but i'll i'll, I'll link them down below and you can uh check them out if you're interested or still looking for a club for 2022 the other things i got were some christmas cross stitch goodies um this is from my folks this is on my amazon wish list this is a dimensions gold collection kit this is the beautiful it's called sleigh ride at dusk stocking um, I'm not sure what name I'll put there, maybe Jack or Simon, um, but I just love this stocking and I think, I just love this picture. I think it will be so beautiful um, to have. So they, my mom and dad got me that and it's a whole kit, so it comes with everything you need. Might change out the fabric to a 28 count even weave, uh, but it is beautiful. And then they also got me um, this really special kit. Um, now, there's in uh, Minneapolis, there's uh, Ingebrigtsen Scandinavian Center. And my background is Scandinavian. We're Norwegian in our background. And my parents got me this kit. It says, Welcome to Our Home in Norwegian. Um, and it's a whole kit. It comes with everything you need. Um, I said, Oh, did you kit this up yourself? And they said, Nope, it came like that. So look at those colors. So I love having this. I can't wait to stitch it and hang it in my home. Again, I might change out the fabric. It looks like it's 14 count white Ada, which is great, but I have so many other fabrics here at Home Neutral, so I might change out the fabric. We'll have to take a look at it, see, but I do like how it kind of pops um, off that white as well. So we'll see, but I think it's really, really beautiful, and I love kind of, so a shout out to my, to my background, my heritage. So I got that, which was a great, uh, a great surprise. And then I got another ornament kit. I already showed it to you in my last video, and I, a friend um, also got it for me. So we're exchanging that. We're in the process of exchanging that and getting something else, but I will keep you posted on that. Okay, next up is the bag that keeps on giving. This is my Acorns and Threads reusable bag. Uh, this is all Jan Hicks's fault. Every single Every single, every single thing in here is Jan's fault, almost. Uh, so we did, we shopped together, and we had a lot of fun. Um, and let me show you what I got. Okay, one thing in here is not Jan's fault. Um, what else? I'm just making sure I get everything out of the bag. Okay. So let's start with kind of the important but also maybe not most exciting was needles so as you know um we lost um our dear pat carson um earlier this year well last year uh it, just recently um and even before that her needles she was stopping to make her stopping making her needles acorns has a few of the pat carson's favorite uh, 2020, uh, 20 size 24 needles left. They don't have any other sizes. I'm getting low on 24 needles. I've found, even though they're a little bit big, I really like the 24s for a lot of stitching. Not everything because they're a bit big, but I do like them for a lot of stitching. So I picked up several packs of those just because they still had some. 
And I'm looking for something with a little bit larger eyes. So I picked up these. These are called Peacemakers. They recommended them for me. You can see the eyes a little bit larger. These are the size 24. So I thought I would give those a try as a replacement for Pat's favorite needles um, since we will no longer be able to buy them. Okay, let's see. Okay, so this is not Jan's fault. But I picked up this. Um, it's called Eva Nora, I think. Gary, do you have this one too? I think it's just super cool for Halloween. I think it's a really, really cool Halloween piece. And I also got the beads for it. And it's stitched all in DMC 310. There is some Krynik and Karen Water Lilies as well in there. I'm not sure where. And I don't know that I will use the Karen Water Lilies. I just do it in 310. Um, but, and the beads. So I got that. So that will go in my stash. I, okay, so not everything is Jan's fault. This book I have been wanting, um, the Samplers Company, this is by Barbara, Brenda Keys, Ultimate Sampler Motif Source Book. It's just charts of motifs. It's a wonderful resource book. I've been wanting it for a while, so I did pick this up. Um, I saw this, I saw a sample of this at Acorns and I had to have it. It's called Shining Star by Sam Sarah. And it says, through the years, we will all be together. If the fates allow, hang a shining star upon the highest bough and have yourself a merry little Christmas. So Sam Sarah is no longer, um, releasing new charts, but you can still find her charts. They're not necessarily out of print. Um, it's just she's not releasing new charts. So I found this one, which I love. I'm still very much in the winter Christmas stitching. Then when I was at the checkout, I remembered, um, remember in my last video, I got those two big charts by Heartstring Samplery. Remember the lilies? Consider the lilies and the other one which I'm blanking on right now. You're all screaming at me. I know you are. Not screaming. You aren't screamers. I know. Anyway, I said, is our chart all creatures great and small? Something like that. And they said, yes, by Barbara Anna. So I did pick this up. This is like last minute at the checkout. Yes, it is another huge one. It is 317 by 248 stitches. But I love it. And I have it in my stash now. This piece of fabric came in. <laughs> this... I ordered, I am not kidding you. So this is Pictures Plus 28 Count Cabernet. I'm not joking when I say I ordered this in January. This was to start a piece called Love Birds in the February 2021 issue of Just Cross Stitch Magazine. It ran out and it took them almost a year to restock it. Um, but it came in. And I have it now. So now I'm able to start Lovebirds uh, literally almost a year later. But I have it now and I'm thrilled to have it. I think it's a gorgeous color. Uh, so that um, starting Lovebirds is on my Bringo board, which I'll talk about in a, in a, in a few minutes when I talk about plans. Um, so this will be started sometime this month. I'm just not sure when. All right, let's get into Blame Jan Hicks right now. Um, so Blame Jan Hicks, we saw this, Fall for Autumn by Erica Michaels. And it was really neat because they had um, they had this stitched on a piece of 40 count gauze and a piece of, I'm not sure, 32 count. So Jan and I thought it'd be fun for her to stitch it on a smaller count, me on a larger count, and just see the differences. Um, so we're both going to work on that. And then we both picked up this by Cottage Garden Samplings Gathering Acorns. I think it's a darling, darling piece. So that will be fun to stitch. And then I also picked up Peaceful Woodlands by Erica Michaels. This, um, it also has the charts for the berries, but peace go with you. I thought this would be a really pretty piece to hang by my front door for when guests leave during the holidays. Um, this is a companion piece to Hearthside Christmas, which I'm struggling with right now as you know so that is what I got I think that's everything that doesn't feel so bad does it that's a lot okay I think that's all my haul let me just check my notes yes that's all my haul for now now there are a few things I wanted still from 
uh, acorns that were out of stock that they have to order. So I am waiting on a few more things to come in. All right, so plans. So Bringo starts today. Uh, so we're very excited. Um, I did the first draw last night, so I will always make the draws the evening before so that you can plan a little bit for the next day. And the piece that was drawn for today was number 24, block number 24, prompt number 24 called um, an indoor activity. So my indoor, my piece for my indoor activity is by Floss and Fleece, Kathleen Burlew, and it's this piece called Looking Out. So you're inside looking out. Um, so that's my indoor activity is looking outside. <laughs> um, and this is from the 2019 Christmas ornament issue of Just Cross Stitch. Um, and you saw this recently in the Whip Parade, but I'm stitching this on a 14 count Opal Blizzard, I think it is, Ada. My goal for last year was just to stitch the window pane, which I did do. My goal on this for this year is to finish this piece. Um, so this uh, was the first one that was called today. Now, I don't know that I'm going to actually work on it today, and I'll tell you why. It's okay. I'll make it up. Because I really want to do a new year, new start. Because I don't often do that. I don't. Well, sometimes I do, I guess. Um, so my new year, new start is this piece by the Victoria Sampler, Happy New Year. And if you can see, there's fireworks, there's people dancing, there's Father Time, people celebrating fireworks over a city, and then some Hardanger, which I don't think I'm going to do the Hardanger. I'm going to do something with specialty stitches down there. I'm not sure what yet, but maybe try to mimic that without the Hardanger. So I really want to start this piece... Um, I mean, ideally I would have started it last night, I guess, but I really wanted it to be on for this year's um, tally. I'm going to stitch this on a piece of 28 count cashew linen in Smoky Pearl. So it's a beautiful fabric and it's a nice long piece. So I'm going to start on this tonight. My goal on this is three hours tonight. And now because I am starting this, so you'll know that the way I, I do it is if I start it this year, it doesn't necessarily have a goal um until next year when it kind of is a carryover if I don't already finish it so there's no real goal on it my plan is just to get it started tonight which means that looking out that piece so we do 25 uh calls January 1st through January 25th and for Bringo and then there's five or six days to make up any days that you need to so I'm going to use one of those days to make up my looking out because for Bringo what I really want to do is I really want to spend my stitching time you only have to stitch an hour or 100 stitches per day and if you have more stitching time than that um I you know, you can switch projects if you want. You only need to do an hour or 100 stitches. I personally want to just spend the evening stitching. So my goal is three hours on each piece that is called. Um, and if it's called, if it's on my Bringo board twice, then that will be six hours. Um, so just using my stitching time that evening to really get some good progress on each of these pieces. Um, so that is why I'm going to move looking out to the end of this month um, because I want to focus on my new uh what is it called it's called happy new year by victoria sampler the other thing i'm gonna be working on this month is focus on the designers so this is the brainchild of the 614 stitcher and the sunside sunshine stitchers to focus stitching on a designer each month what i am doing this year is i'm gonna do i'm gonna do it i'm gonna do instead of doing a sunday spin this year i'm gonna use my sundays to focus on the designer the designer for this year, or for this month, for January, is Pretty Ladies, Mirabilia's, or Nora Corbett's. I have two uh, mirrors going right now, Royal Holiday and Princess uh, Eliana. Um, and this also coincides with the 614 Candy, uh, the 614 Stitcher, so she has a floss tube. Be sure to check her out if you don't already follow her. It coincides with her birthday, which is January 4th, so coming up here in just a few days. So I asked Candy, which piece do you want me to work on for your birthday, Princess Eliana or Royal Holiday? And she chose Princess Eliana. So I will work on that on January 4th, regardless of what uh, Bringo is called. That's another, whatever that day. Princess Eliana is not on my Bringo board. So it 
won't work quite that smoothly. So I'll just move whatever is called for January 4th. I'll just move that also to the end of the month um, in those six days that we have to make up. I will move that to that day. And on January, so most most months on Sundays, I'll work on the designer. Um, this month, because of Bringo, uh, Bringo is my priority, I'll just be working three hours on Princess Eliana, and then that will be my focus on the designer for the month. So not as much time as I normally would like to get, but um, still fun to bring her out because I didn't stitch on her at all last year because I have to do some frogging and restarting, and which I tend to do a lot lately, I guess. Um, so that is uh, kind of my plans, and then I'll be doing Bringo. Um, I just don't know beyond today's call. I don't know what I'll be working on, so stay tuned for that. Very unlike me. Uh, very... Um, I guess it's good for me to get out of my comfort zone a little bit, so I hear. Um, also, we have Whipco. So the Whipco draws, um, and I didn't bring them down here to show you, but my Whipco draws were Halloween at Hawker and Hollow. Uh, so it will get 12 hours, and Hoity Toity, which will also get 12 hours. Now, I'm not sure that I will get both of those done with Bringo and everything else that's going on. So, um... Halloween at Hawker and Hollow is on my Bringo board one time, and that might not be that might be all I get done this month on Halloween at Hawker and Hollow. But I will just carry over whatever I don't finish for Whipgo to next month and try to complete it so I can still mark off that square. So it's a little tight and not exactly you know you don't necessarily want to start out the year by kind of getting behind a month. But Bringo is my priority this month. Um, it's so much fun. I know several of you are joining us. Um, so it'll be a lot of fun to just kind of pull out all our whips and, and touch them for a little bit and, and find find them if we need to find them um, and get some good progress made on, on our goals. So those are my plans. So basically, today I'm going to do my new start, Happy New Year, um, and then the, January 4th, which would be Tuesday, I believe. Tuesday, I'll work on Princess Eliana for Candy's birthday and for the focus on a designer. And then beyond that, I'll just be doing Bringo and I don't know what pieces. So you'll be seeing a lot of whips coming up here um, in the next, uh, you know, three weeks, four weeks or so, uh, because it'll be almost a different whip every day. Um, I have a few pieces that are on my um, Bringo board a couple of times. Um, so there might be some overlap, but not a whole lot. So it should be a really fun month. Um, I think that's all I have for you. I'm looking around. I think that's all I have for you today. Um, like I said, remember, if you want to join in the giveaway for the, the Christmas Ornament Issue magazine, please say holiday down below, and I will draw next week. Um, and I will get those other uh, giveaways sent out uh, to you as soon as I possibly can. And again, I thank you for your patience. And again, I thank you so much for sticking with me for three years. I know usually I do a lot more <laughs> for the anniversary episode and the New Year's Day episode. This is a little more quiet, a little more low-key, which is, you know, it's fine. Some years are going to be like that. But I have loved doing this so much. And again, thank you so much for your support and for just your wonderful friendships that have developed over, you know, the three years. And I've learned so much from you and it's just been a really, really fun time. And I'm so looking forward to our next upcoming year together. And I plan to keep doing this as long as you want to watch. Um, so Simon is here just in time to say goodbye. Um, and we will see you next Saturday as well. Bye everyone. Mm -hmm.